I love helping people, right? That That's great and dandy. I'm helping you, right? But I'm not going to marry or date a guy I need to fix and help. I'm sorry. Like it's one thing when you have a guy that has ambition, right? And he's taking steps to get there. And you're a team and you're like, hell yeah. And you're in it together and you push each other to be better. That's amazing. Knowing what you want and seeing it crystal clear, right? And writing a list. That's something that I have always, you know, said and I have had. And it's so important to know what you really want and have that clarity. Um, but something that I just saw on Bachelor in Paradise is like, oh my gosh, it was bananas. And I need to address it because it really is exactly what I used to do. And I know so many of you are doing still. So please, oh my gosh, listen to this. If you have an idea of what you want in your person, right? And you create something, a checklist, check boxes, and you're like, okay, this is what I want in someone. Um, how, first of all, my first question to you is how do you create that checklist? Okay. How do you, what is on that checklist? First question is what is on it? So if you have anything physical on it, like I want a tall guy, I want a guy with a good head of hair. I need you to toss that shit out of the way. Like seriously, scratch it out, scratch it out. Uh, it is all about the emotional connection and the physical stuff doesn't matter. I will say that chemistry is important. So if you want anything like that, it would be like chemistry, but the whole like dark hair, light eyes, whatever, like that kind of physical stuff, you are really in your own way with that. You may judge a book by its cover. Oh, that's not my type, but like seriously, how has your typed work worked out for you? It hasn't. It has not. Okay. So like, I need to call you out and I need you to freaking like own your shit and say, yeah, you know what? I always go for the tall guys. I always go for the muscular guys. I always go for whatever, like the physical stuff. Okay. So I need you to really, and it's easier said than done because you're in a pattern. You're in a pattern. You like a certain type of guy. Oh, I, tr I attract those kind of guys. Bullshit. You really don't. You don't. You are going out and you are just reacting to the first guy that talks to you. Okay. And they're all certain type of guys that are talking to you. Depends on where you're going. Oh, only douchebags talk to me. Well, where the hell are you going? It's probably full of douchebags looking to hook up, right? And honestly, a lot of douchebags have a certain look. <laughs> and if you, and if your type has a certain look, like if you're like, oh, I'm into a douchebag look, <laughs> like you may, you may be really into that. So you need to stop. If you want to have a lasting, crazy love, step one, stop going out with a douchebag type, right? <laughs> and so challenge yourself. Like when you go anywhere, you know, don't talk to the guy that you normally would talk to all the time. Don't like the player guy, the guy that's like on the hunt and on the prowl and talking and dancing to everybody. How about you, you talk to a guy and he's like all handsy with you right away. That speaks volumes about a guy. Like what the hell? Who are you? What are you trying to do? What is your intention? Okay, if you're looking, if you're on this podcast, that means you're looking for something of substance, something that lasts forever. So we're not looking for a one night stand. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's fine, but don't, you're on the wrong freaking channel. <laughs> Just flip the channel. This isn't for you. This episode it's especially is for you to challenge yourself, okay? So step one, I want you to get a piece of paper out. I want you to write some things that are important to you, have nothing to do with anything physical, okay? And how, like, what can I tell you that will really help you fill out that checklist? And my biggest number one go-to thing for you is think about all your failed relationships. Think about your exes and think about what the hell you freaking hated. 
about those relationships. That is pure gold. That's why, you know, I say stop wasting time, but so much of that, as long as you reflect and learn, it wasn't wasted time. Now, if you keep finding yourself, okay, I went out with them, I didn't reflect, that relationship blew up in my fucking face, and then you're going out with a guy exactly the same way, well, yeah, you're just keep, you wasted your time and you're still wasting your time. And that's on you. Okay, so you need to stop right now and think about your exes. Think about, okay, oh my God, that guy, that failed miserably. Why? Why did it fail? Ask yourself these questions and say, oh my God, yeah, he was a liar. So I want someone that's, let me write it down, honest. And like literally write it down. Like stop, like whatever, I have it in my head. Bullshit. No, no, you don't. You really don't. When you are going out, so many of us, okay, and I say this because you are me. I am you. I was there. Years ago, I was doing this shit and I was going out and I was just reacting to the first person that would talk to me. Oh, what? You want to talk to me? Sure. Oh my God. You're like so cute. Like you're totally my type. And what the hell ended up happening? Months later, days later, wait, one night later, I feel like shit. I feel like what's wrong with me? And here I am single again. And why? Okay, so this is when you need to call yourself out. Be like, oh yeah, yeah, maybe I, this is 100% like, you have nothing to lose at this point, right? So this is when you get paper and you write this shit down, okay? So what are some things that really like hurt you in the past? Okay, a liar, someone that cheated on you, that betrayed you, okay? Think about it. Was there something, was, was there something there from the beginning that told you that? that you could have asked questions about, that could have uncovered that. You know, I am a big fan of talking about deep shit in the first hour of meeting somebody. No more games. Don't stay surface level. Anything, even on chats online, okay? I'm going to have a whole episode about online dating. Don't be like, I'm not going to watch that because I'm not for... No, no. (laughs) <laughs> like you have not dated correctly yet on online dating because you've been doing it your way. You haven't found your person because you've been doing shit your way. Okay. And your way is not working. Okay. This is tough love. I'm sorry. Like we don't have time for me to coddle you. Like, I'm sorry. And I say it because I want you to find love. Like I already love you because I have to say to you the truth and tell you that you have been in your own way for years, just like I was. And the more I was in my own way, the more I felt less than, the more I felt worthless. I want to help you gain that self-worth again, okay? I want you to see, oh my gosh, you are amazing. You so deserve love. So I need you to stop wasting time on these wrong guys for your type. Okay. Cause those types have failed you in the past. So fuck your type. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. I like, I really want examples. I want you to like email me and I want you to be like, oh my gosh, like, yes, I have a type and this is my type. And I am purposely, I am going to be intentional, intentional and be like, no type. Bye bye. Bye bye to your type. Right. Okay. So then you write down what else, what else has failed miserably in your freaking past relationships. Okay. How about a loser? Oh my God, I've dated so many of them. (laughs) Seriously, the guy that's going to do things but never does. Like seriously, is that something that, is that, is that something that you've done before? Okay. How about the guy that like, you know, yeah, he has like no drive. He has no drive. And you're like, oh, but I can help him. Girl, we got no time to help people. I'm sorry. Like, this is what I'm going to say to you. I know that sounds horrible. We don't have time to help people. I love helping people, right? That that's great and dandy. I'm helping you, right? But I'm not going to marry or date a guy I need to fix and help. I'm sorry. Like it's one thing when you have a guy that has ambition, right? And he's taking steps to get there and you're a team and you're like, hell yeah. And you're in it together and you push each other to be better. That's amazing. That's, that's what I'm talking about. But if you're talking about a guy that's like, oh yeah, I'm going to do things. And he never does. Like he really doesn't. You know what I'm talking about? Because these guys are 
all over, right? We've, you've dated them. I've dated them. And you see the signs and you're just like, but you know, with time, I could help them. And you are draining your energy on this person that's really not changing because you can't change someone, right? So maybe on your list, you can put, okay, someone that's not a loser. Okay, so or, or someone, someone that is driven, someone that takes action. It's okay if they are not in the exact ideal job that they want, but they need to be heading somewhere. Do you see what I mean? You are not going to carry around dead weight. You're a badass. You're killing it in your career. You, why are you going to date someone that is going to hold you back? Okay. So many times I talk to women, they're like, oh my God, relationships are just like awful. Well, the ones you fucking been in are awful. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I'm not because that's the fucking truth. The relationships you've been in have probably been awful. So you're like, oh my God, another relationship, a dating. I hate it. It sucks because you keep wasting your energy on guys that are taking away from you versus dating guys that give you value, like add value to your life. Imagine that a guy that is your teammate. The guy, okay, seriously, guys, I, I need you to close your eyes like right now. I'm closing my eyes. Like, close your eyes. Just imagine this. Okay. You're a person. You meet this guy and he lights you up. He doesn't dim your light. He just, when he's around you, he lifts you up. He sees your light and he's like, the world needs to see this. And he just wants you to shine. He is not going to come to you and say, oh my God, your light's too bright. Turn it off. Close the curtains. <laughs> no. This guy is also heading in a place that he's shining his fucking light. And you guys are, are, are a team. Do you understand? He has purpose. He has intention. And he wants a partner. And you are that partner for him. You guys are each other's partners. Okay? So that's a good one to have on your list, right? You know, your type may be a loser. Like, I'm not even joking about this. Like, you know, like you may very well be in a pattern of getting together with someone that needs fixing. Yes or no? Think about it. How many guys have you gotten with that you had to fix? And how many of them have you fucking fixed? None. Zero. I am, you see, I, I get all lit up. I get chills. Like, I, you don't understand because I am trying so hard to like get you to like aha moment, you know, to like, oh shit. I do this, you know, in my coaching programs and I, you know, I'm, I'm showing up on weekly calls and I, I do the direct messaging. I'm like really in it because it's one thing to hear something, right? You hear it, you're like, oh my God, that is so good. But then you go on and live your life and you go back to your bullshit patterns and you listen to the world around you where we're fucking in the matrix and you're like, no, no. Your standards are too high. You want too much. Take what you can get. You're getting older. You need to have kids. Settle for the first guy that gives a shit about you. And I am the voice where honestly, I'm like on a mission. I want to change the fucking world. I am on a mission to empower you, to make you remember how fucking beautiful you are. And when I say beautiful, it's like all of it like the inside and the outside. And there is something waiting for you. This crazy love. I get like, like my heart is in it. I get emotional. Like I get this like in my throat <sighs> because like, this is my purpose. Like I feel, you know, I was in my own way for years. I kept dating the wrong guys. I kept trying to fix everybody. You know, I started at five years old and I finally got my shit together at like 25, right? So 20 good years of dating, <laughs> 20, 20 years of dating where I was like, 
you know what? And I honestly feel like you guys, where you're here listening, you know, I don't, you have these dreams. Like you, if you want kids, you know, that is a strong feeling. Like I knew I wanted to be a mom. Like I was like, this is, this is part of like my journey. I know I'm going to be a mom. Right. And it wasn't going to just be one kid. It was going to be at least two. Right. I don't want you to give up on that dream. I want you to know that it is waiting for you. Now, listen, I'm not saying everyone needs to have kids. That's not my point at all. But I have come across so many and too many where it feels like it's tick, 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 tick. And and you're just like, oh my God, I'm never going to find my person and I need to have a kid. And, 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 and you're losing, like you, you're losing control. You're losing focus. You're losing the intention. You're, you're, you start to react to the first person that comes around because you're just like, oh my God, I, I need to find my person. I need to find, I need to have a baby. I need to find, find. okay, s- no, like I want you to have faith that there is love for you. You are going to have your beautiful family. You are not going to just react to the first bullshit guy. That's your fucking type. That's out the door. You are going to lean into, oh my gosh, faith. You are going to find your person. You're going to be intentional. You're going to live your life, your freaking best, amazing life, single and happy. You work your ass off and something that you love. You have your amazing friends. You have your amazing hobbies that you love to do that help you shine your light. And you know, you don't ever have to settle for anyone. You never have to settle for someone that dims your light again. And you are making space in your life. Oh my gosh, yes. Universe, give it to me. I know it will come. I don't need it. I don't need it. Because you're a light in this world, right? You're shining. You don't need anybody. But you know what? You want it. You want it. You do want to share your life with someone, right? So your heart is open. Your heart is open and you are going to lean into faith. Fuck fear. Okay, I want you to forget the fear that people are telling you in your head. No, oh my God, you're getting so old. Oh my God, bullshit. You don't need it. I want to be that voice for you that reminds you of how fucking amazing you are. Getting like emotional because I know what you're going through. I know that feeling of like, am I enough? And you are. And I just really hope that this message comes through to you. It like touches you and moves you. Um, oh my gosh. So I am sending so much love your way. I hope you really lean into faith. I know it's waiting for you and I really want to hear about it. So make sure that you shoot me an email, your a message in the DMs. I love the messages that I'm getting. It makes me feel like I am on this path and bringing good into this world. And I want to help you find that love you truly deserve. And I really know it. It's waiting for you. And so on that, thank you for being here, for letting me be so open and vulnerable with you. I hope you live your life open and vulnerable because your person is going to cross your path, probably when you're least expecting it. And I want you to trust in the universe and God and whatever it is you believe in and I promise you your person is gonna feel that feel your heart feel your soul and be like wow where have you been right (laughs) so uh, I love you I hope you can feel that and um, remember it has to be crazy love or nothing